Welcome to another Startup and Complete Car Documentation. What we're looking at today is a 2020 Kia Sportage LX. Kia calls this exterior color Cherry Black. In the front door panels, you have storage with bottle holders, and of course, you get power windows, locks, and mirrors. The base LX trim comes with woven cloth seat upholstery, and this one comes in the gray interior color scheme. It does have a fully powered driver's seat. And now we'll go ahead and start the engine. On the key you have the buttons for lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. The Kia Sportage competes in the extremely popular compact SUV segment against rivals like the Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, Ford Escape, and many more. The Sportage made its debut back in 1995, and as of the 2023 model year, is now in its fifth generation. For its first generation, it used body on frame construction, but beginning with its second generation, the Sportage became a crossover, and thus has since utilized a car based unibody platform. This 2020 we have here represents the Sportage's fourth generation, which was sold in North America from model years 2017 through 2022. The fourth gen Sportage also rides on the same platform as the third generation Hyundai Tucson. For 2020, the Gen 4 Sportage received a mid-cycle facelift. Notable changes the 2020 refresh brought included some subtle cosmetic revisions, along with a host of new modern safety features. Even on the base trim level, you now also got an 8-inch center touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. So the US market 2020 model year Sportage was offered in four trim levels, which are LX, S, EX, and SX Turbo. Two different engines are offered across the range, both being inline fours. LX, S, and EX models use a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter with 181 horsepower. Upgrading to the SX Turbo gets you a 2-liter Turbo 4, which has a potent 240 horses. Both engines are paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission, and you also get two drivetrain options, front-wheel drive or Dynamax all-wheel drive, the latter of which the car in this video has. In Kia's 2020 US crossover lineup, the compact Sportage is slotted between the smaller hybrid or EV-only Nero and the larger mid-size Sorento. In the instrument cluster, you have four analog gauges, which are your tachometer, spinometer, fuel gauge, and temperature gauge. And in the center is a digital info display, which can be gone through via the controls on the steering wheel. It has a four-spoke design, multifunctional steering wheel. There are sport grips 10 and 2. And as for controls, on this side you have your audio and hands-free phone controls. And on this side are your cruise and information display controls. This is a tilt and telescopic steering wheel. 
The parking brake is foot operated. Your fuse panel is behind here. You have your panel dimmer, the toggle buttons for your blind spot monitor and lane keep assist, air vent for the driver. Right here is your exterior lighting stock. And on this side is your wiper stock. Point down the center of the interior, you have air vents along with your large touchscreen infotainment system. We'll go over that more in a bit. Passenger airbag indicator, your hazard switch. And then below that, you have a set of physical radio controls if you don't want to do it all with a touchscreen. So your volume power knob, tuning knob, seek track, and then several shortcut buttons. Below that, you have your dual zone automatic climate control. You also have three stage heated front seats. In front of the shifter is some storage, along with two power outlets and a USB port. Putting it in reverse does reveal a backup camera. You have two cup holders, then behind the shifter there's a little bit of storage and then you have three buttons. The first one is your drive mode selector. Your modes are eco, sport, and normal. You then have your downhill brake control or hill descent and the button for your all-wheel drive lock. More storage in your center console. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights. You get your traditional Hyundai Kia style light mechanism. On the overhead console, you have a sunglass holder along with your overhead lighting. And there are grab handles at all four corners. And finally, here is the touchscreen infotainment system. Right now is the home screen. My menu, so you can put your favorites, different stations you might want to have as presets. You got it right there. We'll go to all menus. So, phone, you can pair a phone. If you have it hooked up, there's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You got your radio screen, AM, FM. Setup takes you to all of these settings for any of the various things. And with voice memo, this is a feature that a lot of the newer Hyundais and Kias have been putting in. Basically, as a voice recorder, you just push this and you can record a message. Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. Another startup and complete car documentation. So now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window, which is automatic down, and have a look at the engine bay. The base LX trim still gets some, in my opinion, pretty nice rims, those being these 17-inch two-tone five-spoke alloys.
The Sportage LX is powered by the Sportage's base engine for 2020, a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated inline four. It's a dual overhead cam 16 valve engine with continuously variable valve timing and direct injection. It produces 181 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 175 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. The sole transmission is a six-speed automatic with a manual mode, and that power is sent to all four wheels of this Sportage via the optional Dynamax all-wheel drive system. Running on regular unleaded with a 16.4 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates for all-wheel drive Sportage LXs are about 21 mpg in the city and 25 mpg on the highway. Front-wheel drive models are a bit better on gas. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear setup. It uses four-wheel disc brakes with vented front ones. When properly equipped, you can tow up to 2,000 pounds. Base curb weight for all-wheel drive Sportages is roughly 3,500 pounds, but weight can vary depending on equipment. As you saw earlier, the fuel cap is on the driver's side. Even have bottle holders on the back door panels. Folding rear seats. Of course, to aid cargo space. They're also reclining. There are storage pockets on the backs of both front seats. As for rear passenger amenities, you do have rear climate vents, and a power outlet as well. You also have a coat hook on this side. And there is a folding center armrest with two cup holders. Now I'm about six foot one, and I put the driver's seat roughly where I'd have it if I was driving. And space back here is pretty good. The back seat itself is pretty comfortable. My headroom is really good. Really impressed seeing this is a seeing as this is a compact crossover. Single exhaust, your rear wiper. Cargo space in the Sportage is 30.7 cubic feet with the rear seats up. Fold down the rear seats and you then get 60.1 cubic feet. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2020 Kia Sportage, and as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.